Hey guys! Oh my god, this is really scary because like I'm I'm positioning this recording tablet on a radiator propped up by one of my son's toy box things and it could all go perilously wrong in a minute and just fall off and then whatever will we do? So, uh, okay, two things, three things. First, um, apologies for my hair being wet, I just got out of the bath, when I had a stroke of genius and thought I'd film this, and so that's why in all my videos I'm always like, never completely facially or hair-wise done, because, um, I'm a scatterbrain. Oh. Anyway, so, um, I thought I would do a review of this really cool makeup palette I got a few weeks ago. Well, my husband bought it for me, so all credit to him, actually. I didn't buy it myself. Um, because I'm a scab. No, because <laughs> he bought it for me. Um, okay, so, apologies. I'm filming in my, my son's beautiful room, which he chose to be orange and yellow, and so, actually, I really like it because it makes me feel really sunny. And today is a really, really grey day. Um, I'd show you out the window if I wasn't like right opposite my neighbour's window and wouldn't inadvertently film them by accident. But yeah, it's really grey. Okay, so second, second, maybe third, fifth, I've lost track thing. Uh, this purple ribbon. I'm wearing this because it is Craniosynostosis Awareness Month. Uh, a condition that my son had and that affects a few other children in the country. I can't remember the statistics, but it's rare, it's still quite rare, um, and it's not nice, and uh, without um, surgery, children can end up with some serious problems. Um, and so I'm not going to ramble on about it, because this video is about something else, and one day I will do a video on that. But I'm not really at a point in my life where I could do it without crying because it did affect us all quite, quite severely. Obviously, that's your baby, and it was a it, yeah. If you do some research on Google anyway, and do a little post on whatever social network you're on, um, then that'd be great because you're spreading awareness, and a lot of kids are still going undiagnosed. So that would be great if you did that for me, young Padwan. Right. I am doing this review anyway on Makeup Revolution's Flawless uh, Eyes Like Angels palette, right? It's amazing. It's got 32 eyeshadows in it and it was only £8. Yeah, it really was. 32 eyeshadows for 8 quid, and they're really nice quality. So you can see why I felt in, compelled to do a video about it. That's the back of the box. So you can see all the colours. They don't have their names on them, those. But, yeah. It, it, it's cool. This is the actual box. It's black and it's plastic. I haven't found a brush on it anywhere. If you have, and there's some magical secret compartment, like the Clark's Magic Key Shoes from when I was young, who none of you probably remember because you're probably all younger than me, but if there is a secret compartment on it somewhere hiding a brush, then please let me know, but I don't think there is. Okay, so the first thing that struck me, struck me? Striked me. It's definitely not striked me. Struck me. The first thing that I found interesting was this lovely big, look, you can see yourselves, you can see my tripody, my little Heath Robinson thing. It's like, <laughs> yeah, oh my god, there's like this video within this video within this video in the mirror. <gasps> Alice in Wonderland. Anyway, right, yeah, so it's a nice thick, it's a glass mirror, definitely is, because it's, you can see how heavy it is, like, oh, I don't want to drop it. Um, so that's really good because I don't have many like mirrors for looking at the back of my hair when I've done it and stuff. Not that I have today, but you know. Um, and then there's all these beauteous colours. Now I'm going to read the names out to you. But I'm going to use the box it came in because that's quite heavy to hold up in front of a camera whilst I do it. And I'm a wuss. So, right. If I hold this here, I can read out the colours as I point to them is the theory. Yeah, okay. So the first one, 
that's the wrong way up. Ugh, I'm just being really strange today. Okay, sorry. The first one over here is called paper and that's really nice, a really nice sort of, if it was on the wall you'd describe it as magnolia but you need these light colours sometimes when you're creating different looks so I like that one as a base sometimes. This one's called soft glow, this one is called buff, he's so buff, does anybody ever say that? Highlight, uh, angel, this is like a gold flecked light one which is really pretty on. Uh, this is called Unlimited. Uh, this is called Brew, as in which is brew or brew beer. Brew of beer, a brew, yeah. Shh. <laughs> this is called Silver Smoke. It looks beautiful on. Doesn't look much in the palette, but on. Really nice. And I'd imagine it would suit most people's colouring and hair colouring. It's really nice. Okay, this one is called Blue Star. This one is called Cheerless. This one is called Gold Digger. This one is called Low Light. This one is called, no, oh, I've gone wrong somewhere. Oh, that's called Low Light, I think. That's called, definitely called Barely Pink. You can wear that on your cheek sometimes. This is called Uncover. And this is called Almost There. So I'll go from this side now. <laughs> Uh, yeah, this is called Smudge, this is called Shimmer Heart, this is called Universal, this is called Copper Shimmer, this is called Metal, this is called Darkest Shimmer, this is called Tarnish, and this is called Black Tarnish. Black tie event. <sighs> Those sort of things scare me. Right. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is called pure chocolate. Pure chocolate. Why is it like French people? Like the accent is so alluring that like when they talk, they pout so much. Chocolate. It's beautiful. Um, cafe noir. Is it? That's not green stars. That must be green stars. Where am I going wrong? Basically, I think I might just give up. <laughs> I know that's called night. Yeah, that's night. That's green stars. That's molten chocolate. That's burgundy nights. Oh, that must be called green stars then. It doesn't look green, does it? If it's wrong, I do apologise. For some reason today, I'm just not working properly. Take me back to the shop. Okay, so I'll just tell you what I've got on my eyes. And I know these are the right colours because I've used them almost religiously since I bought the palette. Um, okay, so on the inner corner is the one we call paper. Um, and then towards the centre of the eye, I have used, I think it was soft glow. Have a look. Yeah, it was soft glow, so it was more pa like paper but with a pinky hue to it. Then in here I have used, uh, it was red, um, red night and barely pink. And then I used a bit of molten chocolate along here so I didn't have to wear eyeliner today because I didn't feel like wearing eyeliner today. Um, when I do, I like to sort of wear it when I'm going somewhere out, you know. But today I'm just at home and I thought I'd do a review. Um, I've also got some Rimmel um, hazel coloured eyebrow pencil on because I am quite fair and my eyebrows don't really show up on camera. Uh, which kind of gives me this kind of weird look if I don't fill them in before I make a video. Um, I've put some bronzer on, that's why my, I look a bit contoured today. And I've also put some light, that highlight one out of this eyeshadow palette it's called Highlight on the tops of my cheekbones so they get a bit more defined. Um, lipstick is a hard candy one. Uh, 
can't remember what it was called. I think it's a pretty straightforward name, but it's one of the lighter pink ones. So I thought I'd do this, do me this little review. Uh, uh, I will do a hair one again soon. Oh, <laughs> there it goes. 